Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet and I'm here with another reading for the second half of, of March 2017. And I just wanted to let you know um, how I'm going about this, uh, the reading this, this time round. And as always, I uh, will use my Vera Sibila deck and I'll be using this first off this time. And um, then I have a deck that warrants a bit of an explanation. I'll show, show you these cards one at a time as I tell you them. They're called the Tarot of the um, Mystical Spiral. And it was created by an Italian called Giovanni Pelosini. And uh, the artwork is by um, a man called Giuseppe Palumbo. And um, the, the, the notion, you know, the thread, the, the theme of the spiral is really something that... Uh, that talks about nature. It, it goes through nature in all forms, from the macrocosm of the galaxies to the microcosm of our DNA. And the entire energy of the universe is, um, is, is acts in uh, helo, helicoidal motion in some way. And of course, these laws are not really fully understood um, as far as I understand myself, as far as I know, because um, what we uh, uh, usually remember and think of when we talk uh, about and imagine the spiral, these are notions that have um, mystified alchemists, uh, scientists, artists, um, mystics, and uh, the traditions and myths in any continent talk about in some way or another the, the spiral and in a symbolic language, in a semiotic way. Um, and even in the mystical traditions, the great mystical traditions and esoteric mystical uh, traditions of the West and the East is inspired by the spiral. So come with me and, um, and let's use this initiatory deck. This is an initiatory deck. It's a, um, the symbolism shows us, it, it talks about, it tells us about a path of, of initiation and it invites us to make a quantum leap in our consciousness and to go there among the sage, the wise men, and understand the secrets behind uh, Gothic cathedrals or, or uh, invites us to dance with the dervishes or the, Maor the Maoris and um, meditate with the yogi. Or even go travel with the Vikings and dragons, unicorns and um, sphinxes and minotaurs, you know, um, with archangels, the knights of the Templars and uh, and try to find out the old, ancient, old, uh, see the, the secrets of humanity and of life itself. So come with me and we'll use these this deck to clarify. And every time I pull the uh, cards, I'll uh, say a specific, what the card specifically means in this deck and, um, and try to see if we can get clarification using that. So off we go to those readings, ladies and gentlemen. Hello Sagittarius, it's me again, and this time I'm concentrating on your reading for the 16th to the 31st of March, the second half of March. Let's see what these Vida Sibila have to say. What would life be without them? La Vida Sibila Oracle Card Decks. I offer a course on how to read the Vida Sibila on my website. You can go look under Cartomancy, or no, under Rabira Sibila. Let's see what's in store for Sagittarius for the second half of March. Hmm, something is brewing. Something is brewing. And there is excitement. Bad times are out of the question here. They're gone. They're gone. They're nowhere to be seen. These grazia. Let me turn on this light for you just to get me um, visualizing the the these grazia and the <coughs> excuse me disaster and the morte 
Those cancel each other out. Happy times are here to stay. And if you've been feeling sick lately or just not up to standard, you know, this is the time where you're starting to flourish again. You're feeling the real impact of spring. And um, what's interesting is there is the excitement. Like I said, there is a little bit of excitement. And it's probably, and I'm going to look at that with this spiral um, deck here, the mystical spiral. Um, why I'm, I'm, I'm sort of going slow and uh, pondering things is because there seems to be a number of cards that uh, ask for caution. They caution you. You know, I have here um, the prison and also the fortune, the fortune and the prison. But, you know, these might just be uh, signals of of saying, you know, don't move, you're in the right place, you finally found your your uh, your home, you know. Um, but there's still here, these gratia is, not, is mirroring the artista thought, the thinker, the scientist, and it seems that you're getting anxiety-ridden because of a um, an engagement that, is, not an engagement, a ring engagement, but... Um, something that is coming up that you, it's a duty that you have to fulfill there's a, a commitment that's the word i wanted a commitment that you have to fulfill and and that is you know troubling you a little bit it's giving you really cause for concern it it will be over soon i see that it will be over the last card is our legit it's the lightness of being and this is following the fortuna card now um i'm going to take the uh these mystical spiral cards couple on each of these darker areas of the spread to see if we can highlight them. Okay, look at this. I've got the two of pentacles and the stars. Now, the two of pentacles here, it's the the flower of life and the spirals of the sunflower seed that express the principles of geometric sacred geometry really and um, typically in a tarot deck the two of uh, pentacles would mean changes juggling things but this is the sacred nature of life I uh, believe that for many of you and I remember the last reading there was um, a child a conceiving there was someone who a lot of a lot were expecting either expecting a child, a human child, or expecting it, a project to take off. Now, these are the seeds that are going to give that project impetus. And the stars here, the stars respond, correspond to the uh, Latin uh, words sic itur et ad astra, which, is cosis, which means this is what you do to go to the stars. Now, to piece that together, it means that your project, which could be a child coming out, which could be a, a science project, which could be a, a management project, the project that you're taking, that you're, it's like a baby. That I get the impression it's like a child. You're, you need time for it to be conceived. This is how you go to the stars. It will bring you uh, literal fame. It will bring you peace, happiness, and it will bring you fame. There are many of you out there, Sagittarius, that that are going to have your little um, moment in the limelight because of a project that you you discuss. Many of you may be defending a thesis. Maybe many of you are going to conferences and, and uh, uh, showing a hypothesis, hypothetical uh, project that you began with a certain hypothesis and that you proved it to be true, but you will get a claim. There'll be a claim. Now, um, I'm going to the, and, and that's where the nervousness is stemming from. The nervousness behind you presenting this project or nervousness because you are pregnant. I'm going to this, uh, the end of the disgrace here, the uh, end of the difficulties in terms of your relationship. Now I have here the nine of 
the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is the goddess Flora on a, um, on a spiral staircase. And she is a uh, whole, she brings abundance and it's escalating abundance. And here I have the Ten of Pentacles. So that is the Nine and the Ten. There is a growth in abundance. And this is uh, the goddess of fortune on the stairs of a temple. And she has a uh, spiral cornucopia. Abundance is coming your way. So that is, these two did cancel each other out. You're going coming into abundance. I'm going to now... Um, the last couple of cards that I'll put on this falsita, uh, which is uh, it's mirroring the artista, the scientist, and that is talking about the difficulties. You're trying to prove a point. You're trying to prove an hypothesis. You're a hypothesis. You're trying to get something forward, and the math is not working, or some the accounts are wrong. Now, what has come up is the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is uh, the Templar. We're on a horse um, in front of the Gothic spirals of a cathedral. And it's a defense, a passionate defense. Now, I have the devil as well, the major arcana. Uh, arcana is the devil. And it's facili descensis averni. It's easy to descend into the infers. What seems like passion can drive you into obsession. All right, now that is what the cards are telling you. So try to keep it light, Sagittarius. I'm going through the ebony room. All right. Look, success is right on your path. Success is yours. Success is yours, if I can show this <laughs> here. And Aljitz is upside down. Al Aljitz is, um, is Merkstave. And it's Merkstave over La Donna di Servizio, who, who is an aide. And it seems that you're wanting to go it alone. And your going it alone is going to give you that acclaim. So it's not a bad um, decision of yours. The need also of having to be alone in the decision-making process before you present this plan. And the um, manats I have, manats merkstave over these two. Now these two are talking about the obsessive nature of your studies, of your project or whatever. Um, and manats merkstave is telling you that if you continue to obsess, you will not be going forward. Okay, so that this is a very clear message to me. I hope this was of help to you. Sagittarius, namaste until we meet and read together again. Bye-bye.